Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw this bold letter logo design which is a combination of three alphabets J, M and J. Now let's start with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all go to view and select it to wide. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now go to file and select the document properties. Select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. Now this is our command bar and at the end of command bar you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and select align and distribute menu. Again left click on it and select fill and stroke menu like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line while holding down the control key like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style first change the units to pixels and change the width of the line to say 3 pixels like this. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key and give its opacity to 100% like this. Now it doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and give it a stroke color by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key like this. Now we will adjust the diameter of this circle so first of all lock the dimensions and set the value to 75 pixels like this and change the stroke width to 3 pixels. Again select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key and set its dimensions to 185 pixels like this. Now select both of these circles, go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select on center on vertical axis and center on horizontal axis like this. Now turn on the snapping and turn on the snap to paths and turn all of these options like this and drag this circle up to this line like this. Now again select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key. Now set the height of the line to say 500 pixels. Go to fill and stroke and select the stroke width of the line to say 3 pixels. Now drag the line up to the quadrant of this smaller circle. Now right click, duplicate it and drag this line up to this quadrant like this. Now select both of these lines and drag them vertically downward up to this line. Now select both of these circles and change the color of the circle to red by clicking on this red color while holding down the shift key. We are doing this so that we can differentiate between the shapes. Now select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag these lines at the quadrant of this bigger circle like this and also drag these lines vertically downward while holding down the control key up to the line like this. Now again right click, duplicate it and drag these lines horizontally up to this point like this. Now select these circles and select zoom to fit to selection like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from one quadrant of the circle to the other quadrant like this. Now set the width of the line to say 3 pixels like this. Now go to object and select transform. In the transform menu go to rotate and select the angles to 53 degrees and direction to anti-clockwise direction and select apply. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now again select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag it horizontally up to this point like this. Now at this point turn off the snap to paths like this. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and drag it horizontally while holding down the control key in the middle like this. Now select these three lines while holding down the shift key and go to align and distribute menu. From the relative to select last selected and select horizontal vertical gaps like this. Now you can delete this outer line by selecting and pressing delete on the keyboard like this. Now select this line, go to transform menu and also rotate it in the anti-clockwise direction by clicking apply like this. Now turn on this snapping and zoom out this area of the circles like this and place this line at the intersection point of this one. Again right click, duplicate this line 
and also drag this up to this point like this. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now select both of these lines, right click, duplicate it and drag them like this side at the points meet. Again right click, duplicate them and drag them up to this point. Now see that this line is snapping at this corner but we want to snap this line up to this point. So what we will do, we will select Z on the keyboard and zoom out this area like this. And now we will drag this point like up to this point. Now again select zoom to fit to page. Now first select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line from this intersection point to this like this one. Now this is our main object. Now one thing that we have to do, select this line, right click, duplicate it and drag it up to the quadrant of this circle like this. Now you can decrease the dimensions of the circle up to this point like this. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select combine. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this. Now give it some solid color like this red color and place this solid body behind our main object like this. Now select both of these parts, go to path and select division. We can't see anything so what we will do, we will select some stroke color so that we can differentiate between the parts. So click on this black color while holding down the shift key like this. Now we can delete the unwanted parts by selecting the part with the left click of mouse and pressing delete on the keyboard like this. Now we will delete all the unwanted parts. Now we are 50% complete with our logo. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now right click, duplicate it and flip it vertically like this and snap it at this corner like this. Now again select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now we only need the fill and doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel the stroke by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this. Now we will go to align and distribute menu and from the relative to select page and align it on vertical axis and horizontal axis and decrease the dimensions of the logo like this. So select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this end of the page to this end and change the color of the rectangle to this black color and place it behind our main object. Now select this logo and give it this yellow color like this. Now go to path and select break apart. Now select this line which represents M and give it white color like this. Now select the pen tool and drag a line from one end of the rectangle to the other end and up to this point like this and end the line at this point. Now select the dropper and give this shape this yellow color like this. Now select this one, right click duplicate it and flip it vertically and horizontally like this and place this shape up to this point like this. Now select our logo and decrease its dimensions up to this point like this. Now this is our final design. Now if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel and also suggest me in the comment section that how this design can be improved. And also share your thoughts that whether you like it or not. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.